Next up on our 2024 CBC Fall Sports Media Day Tour is the Berkshire Badgers golf team. Coach, thanks for being here. Why don't you introduce yourself and then just give us a preview. How, uh, you know, what can we expect out of the Badgers this season? Thanks for having us. Um, I'm Chandler Verhaas. I'm the new boys coach here at Berkshire. Uh, expectations this year, uh, I expect the boys to um, compete every, each and every day, uh, try to get better, um, and just uh, try to, you know, enjoy the time we get to have on the golf course. Um, yeah. I thought Dave List was going to coach that team until the end of time. Apparently, finally uh, stepped aside. He did a yeah, nice yeah, job out there. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that. I've, I've heard uh, a couple other gentlemen who have who've said, I can't believe he gave it up, so. Um, yeah, right. Apparently coaching high school is a good job. High school yeah. golf. I like it. All yeah, right. So you guys got a good start. Yeah. You guys got off to a good start last week in the, the preseason tournament. Uh, what, what are, what's the outlook? I mean, are you confident this team's going to make a, a, a deep postseason run? Uh, I, I do. Uh, I'm very confident. I think we got a lot of good kids here. Um, you know, they're good people. You know, these kids, they work extremely hard. Uh, they, they, they show up um, more often than, um, than I thought they, they would over summer. Um, they work to get better each and every day. I think they, they expect a lot out of themselves. Um, and I think that might be our biggest struggle throughout the year is just try not to put too much pressure on ourselves to uh, succeed because I think they, they see success in their future, and that's kind of their expectation. You uh, missed uh, – well, not you. You were coaching last year, but the team missed out on the uh, Valley Division title by two points to Cardinal last year, but you return all five of your – all conference performers. So I've got to imagine that conference titles, uh, you know, one of the, the main goals for this squad this year. It is, it is. It, and it, it's, it's a brand new year. Um, you know, I, I, we have, you know, a lot of kids playing well right now. Um, and I, I still don't think we've reached our, our full potential. And I think there's a lot of, a lot of golf left to play. And, uh, you know, we're hoping to get the best of the Cardinal this year and uh, as well as the, all the other CVC schools in our division. All right. Sounds good. Coach, I'll wrap up with you. Uh, let's start with Mario. I think he's to your right. Mm -hmm. All right, Mario. So coming in, uh, first team all-conference last year, uh, one of the top golfers in the Valley Division. What's on the slate for this year? What are you trying to accomplish? Um, you know, hopefully shooting for that for that first team all-CBC, if, uh, if not player of the year. So I'm just aiming to get, you know, get a lot better from last year. Um. Just trying to improve on on my game, you know, as much as I can do. How much did missing out on that conference title last year by by a very narrow margin? How much has that inspired you in the off season just to come in stronger this year? Um, I've I've been on the grind. I've I've been practicing almost every day, trying to get out on the putting green, driving range, um, everything. I've just been putting in the work all summer. How much have you progressed since last year? I I think I've. I think I've definitely improved from last year. Um, nine hole matches, 18 hole matches. Um, you know, my short game's gotten a lot stronger. My my distance with my clubs has, you know, improved. And uh, just just overall, my game's just improved a lot. There's a lot of talent on that team, as I mentioned. You got five guys that were all conference last year, and all five returned. How much does that help? each of the golfers on the team just knowing that there's so much competition um i mean you know we're just we we um our chemistry is is very very good this year if, if not better than last year um you know we've got we've got a couple of freshmen coming up that are that are pretty solid um that help the team chemistry a lot give me a golfer on the team that you think's gonna have a big year and why uh, i think trent hornack is definitely gonna going to shine this year. He's, he's improved a lot since last year. He was in, you know, nine hole matches. He was barely breaking 40 and now he's, you know, consistently low forties, high thirties. Outstanding. All right. Good luck to you this season. Let's go over there to Jake. Thank you. All right, Jake, same thing. You were first team all conference last year. Uh, but how much did that loss to Cardinal for the conference title? How much did that motivate you in the off season? Oh, it, it definitely motivated me for sure. I mean, I I didn't play as much as I wanted to in the off season, um, but I'm I'm looking to come back stronger this year for sure. Um, definitely, I'm not not liking where I'm at right now, but I'm definitely improving for sure. What has been the issue early in the season? 
Uh, well, I actually just got new irons, so I'm still working um, those in for sure. And then, but I, I like where my game's at, other than the irons. But I mean, that's a big part of the game, so I really gotta dial that in. But I've been been working, been going to the range, so just need to keep hitting what's, them. What, what's been the strongest part of your game so far in the season? Uh, I I would think I'm I'm getting off the tee very well. I think I've putted decent too which is is nice because last two years uh, putting was the worst part of my game so I feel like I've definitely improved on that how do you deal with the the mental side of the game everything from you know making a decision between clubs when you're kind of a, you know got a tweener distance or uh, you know dealing with a bad shot so you don't let it affect the rest of your game yeah I mean golf is 100 percent metal for sure um, I just try, if I had a bad shot, just move on to the next one, you know. Um, but, yeah, I just try to forget all the bad shots, focus on on what I got to do to hit a good one. So, yeah. All right. And what's, uh, who, who's your golfer you think is going to have a big year and why? Uh, golfer that I think that's going to have a big year. Um, I think Mario's going to have a, a really good year this year. I mean, he's been shooting good. Um, he's – Definitely improved from last year for sure. I mean, he's shooting low 40s, high 30s for 9, 18, anywhere from 80s to 70s. So, yeah. Outstanding. All right. Well, good luck to you this year. Coach, Thanks. back to you to wrap it up. We talked to Mario, Jake. We talked about a couple other golfers on the squad, but uh, you, you need uh, five of them to, to score for you. Uh, who who are those guys who who are fighting for the chances to be on the varsity? Uh, we, we don't we don't have a, a locked in six right now. Um, you know I'm kind of um, you know let letting the cards fall where they do and you know seeing how the kids play. Um, you know to outside of these two um, guys here, you know Trent Hornack, he's he's off to a really hot start um, this year. Aiden Pollock, he's been solid um, in each round he's played. Uh, we got a young freshman named Angelo DiCarlo. He's played in all of our RC matches so far and um you know angelo he's he's dropped about 15 shots since the start of the summer and, and he's really um coming around um you know we have a couple other guys in the mix uh seth seth kellogg um gavin hip um, and evan pollock um to kind of round out the guys that are in filling those five and six spots right now when you look at at this squad and and the potential it has the one thing you don't have is time. I mean, once you guys start playing, you're playing tournaments and matches almost every day. You don't have a lot of time to work on on things. So how do you fit that in just to, you know, if a guy's having some trouble with his irons or his short game, you, you don't have a whole lot of time to work on it. How do you get him mentally prepared for that challenge? You know, as a first time, first time I've, I've, I've coached golf, you know, I'm trying to figure things out still, um, you know, I, and and that's something I'm, I'm kind of working through. And I know we have a, uh, um, we have an invitation one tomorrow, and then we have three days off where I'd like to fully take advantage of those of those days. Um, it, it is tough. Uh, it's it's not easy how how condensed the season is, um, but that's something that I plan to to figure out and do the best I can to get these guys in good position so that we can compete in, in each and every match we play in. Outstanding. All right, Coach, I appreciate you and the guys taking some time out of your day to preview the season. I wish you the best of luck this fall. Thank you, sir.